In this video, I'll be showing you the free to play method to get the coconut crate. Just before the video starts, make sure to like and subscribe. So once you spawn in the game, place down two level one Santa TV men. And then place down four fan men. These fan men do AOE damage, so it is really good for early game. Now place down your last Santa TV man and upgrade all of them to level 2. Once you've got enough money, place down 2 clock spiders. Make sure to follow my placements very carefully or else this strategy may not work. Upgrade all of your Santa TV man to level 3 and upgrade all of your clock spiders to level 2. Make sure to upgrade your base if the health is lower than 50%. Upgrade all of your Santa TV man to level 4 and upgrade all of your clock spiders to level 3. Now all of your clock spiders do AOE damage as well. Now upgrade all of your Santa TV man to level 5. And then upgrade all of your clock spiders to max level. They do a ton of AOE damage at max level and that is really really good for this summer event. And now upgrade all of your Santa TV man to level 6 and start placing down some future large clockmen. You should also start upgrading your base to max level so that means you need to upgrade your farms, upgrade all of the future large clockmen and upgrade your base at the same time. That means you will be multitasking so make sure to not to forget any of these important steps. So make sure to upgrade all of your feature large clockmen to level 4 only. This is because they deal the most damage per dollar used. That means they have high cost efficiency. With that being said, we now have quite a lot of future large clockmen and we're pretty much dominating the game right now. These toilets are no match to our insane DPS. But still make sure to watch till the end because the last few waves are the most essential. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel if this video helped you. It means a lot to me and also to the growth of this channel. So now we're gonna place more and more of these future large clockmen. They're doing a really really good job by holding back the enemies. Keep placing more and more of these level 4 future large clockmen. And if any toilets get too close to the base, make sure to use the time stop ability. And we're now at wave 48 already. We're pretty much speed running the game right now. And at wave 49, turn off auto skip. Some enemies may leak towards your base, but that is fine because you have a max level base, so that doesn't matter at all. So this is the final wave, and I slow down the time lapse a little bit so as to show you how to play this wave very effectively. So first of all, what you want to do is sell all of your Santa TV man and replace them with these future large clockmen. Make sure to place down more of these future large clockmen on the side where the crab boss is spawned. As you can see, I only left three of the future large clockmen on the other side and placed down all of my forces on the side with the crab boss. And now, with the last enemy on this side defeated, I'm going to move all of my units towards the side of the crab boss. And if needed, make sure to use the time stop ability once again. Make sure to subscribe. 